everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Today we're going to be talking about this turntable. Yep, it's nice and round. It's black. It's got two switches, one for the light. Let me show you the light. And it don't work unless you turn the damn thing off. Oh, hang on. There it is. There's the light. Okay, enough about that. Turn that off. Now, actually, we're going to actually talk about a vacuum form mask that I got from Spirit Halloween yesterday. And it's this guy right here. It is the Boris Karloff version of um, Frank, the Frankenstein monster. A lot of people want to call him Frankenstein. He's actually the Frankenstein monster because technically he does not have a name. I don't believe. Uh, but in most cases, uh, people would address him as the Frankenstein monster. So let me pull that back so you can see that look. Now this, as you can see the tag still on there, it's from Trick or Treat Studios, okay? Uh, it says Frankenstein, but it should say Frankenstein's monster. Because Frankenstein's the actual uh, doctor uh, that actually created the monster. Okay, and most people know that. Okay, that's what that looks like. Inside of the mask. All right. Now I do have uh, the Trick or Treat Studios version of the uh, Boris Karloff uh, Frankenstein's monster uh, mask. I'm going to show you that here in a second. So we can do a little comparison. They will be drastically different in some ways because the actual um, Trick or Treat Studios version of the mask is really lifelike. It's, and obviously this is a vacuum form. So just keep that in mind. Anyway, that's the inside of the mask. This is actually comfortable to wear. I'm actually going to wear it and show you what it looks like here towards the end of the video, okay? Okay, and there's that scar, that distinctive scar, okay? All right. Again, it's made of plastic. So let me get into the actual mask here. So you can see what I'm talking about here. This thing's really, really cool. I did a video on this. And it is sitting on my YouTube channel if you want to check it out. I got all my Frankenstein masks on my channel here. So go ahead and check that out. Okay. And that is what this thing looks like here. All right. Now you see, when I pull it back here, I'm going to pick it up so you can actually see what it looks like here. And let me kind of straighten him out here. There we go. All right. Stand up and show you what it looks like here. All right. And that's what she looks like. Okay. It's very realistic in nature here. He does have a scar over here on his left cheek, along with the bolts and stuff like that. The hair is very realistic and not realistic, realistic, but realistic for a mask. Okay. All right. Again, that distinctive marking right there. Okay. And then you got your other side here. All right. And that's what this mask looks like. Now, this is going to be a short video because I just want to show you the comparison between the two of them. All right. All right. That's straightened out. Let's put that up on the stand. All right. I'll give that a turn. I'll let you check it out. All right. Okay. So hang on for a second here, let me just readjust this so you can see it. There we go. Alright, there you go. Now you notice the plastic in here? Okay, you gotta pull that away from the wall there. Right. Okay, that looks good. What I do is I, I take the actual masks and I take the styrofoam heads and wrap them with some kind of plastic because what the styrofoam heads do, okay, is um, they suck the moisture right out of your latex ma uh, masks. And that's not a good thing because sometimes there is this one guy on, a, he has a YouTube channel where he had a mask that he did not cover the actual styrofoam head for a better part of 10 years and he could not get the mask off because it kind of melted together, fused together as one. What the styrofoam does, it pulls the moisture right out of your latex mask. And it ruins the mask after a while. So you want to preserve your masks. Make sure you wrap your styrofoam heads, if you're using styrofoam heads, with some sort of plastic. Even saran wrap will do. As long as they don't make contact with each other, okay? So keep that in mind. Now when you stuff the head, that's a different ball game. You can stuff it with plastic and all that stuff. But you want to make sure that the eyes, you know, they don't show. I see a little blue in mine because I stuffed it with some blue um, bags. 
in order to keep it full so it, it, it retains its shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut this down and we're going to kind of compare the two of them. All right. All right. Now that they're, uh -huh. they're not the exact same thing. Yeah, actually they are. So I'm going to show you the actual scar here. All right. But like I said, this is the vacuum form version of it. So what I'm going to do is kind of put them side by side. They're similar in a way. They got the scar here along with the scar over here. But like I said, this one's more realistic in nature. And they did a fantastic job on that one too. It's really, really cool. All right. Enough about that. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, the vacuum form masks, I do have a collection of them. I might do a video sometime down the line just based on all my vacuum forms. And we'll let you guys check those out real soon. In the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys at the next video.